It's time to play ball. Batter up, Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Look at the crush of the crowd. You can see the excitement in their eyes. This is a dramatic day in Tampa Bay, a day decades in the making. The gates to Tropicana Field swung open just a few minutes ago, and we're now just a short time away from the start of Devil Rays baseball. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Gail Searins. I'm Bob Height. Thanks for joining us this afternoon for a News Channel 8 special, Batter Up, the opening game for Tampa Bay's baseball team. We're live atop the roof of Ferg's Sports Bar just across the street from the stadium in downtown St. Petersburg. This is a special day for all of Tampa Bay and for baseball fans throughout the area. Today, Tampa Bay officially becomes a major league town. It wouldn't have been possible without the fans. News Channel 8's Rod Challenger joins us now live from Tropicana Field with their story. Rod? Gail, it's absolute bedlam here in the rotunda, the main entrance to Tropicana Field. If you ever had any doubt would Tampa Bay support Major League Baseball, just look around you. The fans are here. They are ready to end a quest that began so long ago. This is a day for the history books, a day that finally is coming to fruition and ending Tampa Bay's dreams. Bender set the tone for early arrivals, capturing the excitement of the day. Steve Hassel brought his son from Inverness. It's a lot of fun, it's exciting, and we're looking forward to being a part of history. Enthusiastic fans have waited a long time for today and are ready to celebrate. Vicki Cottner of Brandon has come up with the Devil Ray Ray. Well, instead of at the Devil Rays game, just doing a wave like you would see at the normal game, you want to do the rave, the Devil Ray Rave. Sisters Frances Coulter and Dorothy Smith came up with the Devil Ray Shuffle. Got my tickets and I'm ready to go. I've been waiting a whole year for this day, and I'm here. Fans from throughout Tampa Bay have congregated here for this moment. Oh man, just can't wait, can't wait, been waiting for it all year long. Oh, this is exciting, man. It's a day of first. Two fans from Waimama may have created the first fan sign. We got the day off, and we're here to cheer them on. Thousands of fans gathered outside the main entrance for the opening ceremony. Vince DiMoli made an orange juice toast, then reflected on the moment. It's been a hard road. It's been fraught with, with many difficulties along the way. A lot of people have put a lot of sweat, tears, frustration into this. But all that's behind us now. What's ahead of, ahead of us now is our own Major League Ball Club, the Major League season. This is a day that many people thought would never come. It has finally arrived, and I'm telling you, this is quite a day for Tampa Bay. The dream has finally become a reality. Gail, pinch yourself. It's no longer a dream. All right, Rod, thanks. She's pitching herself right now, Rod. <laughs> With the opening pitch scheduled for just after 5 o'clock, traffic troubles are a top concern around Tropicana Field. As the commuter crunch crippled St. Petersburg's street system, for the answer to that question, we turn to News Channel 8 pilot reporter Judd Chapin. He's high over the stadium in Eagle 8. Judd? Bob, the traffic is moving and uh, it will in all directions until you get right to the stadium. All the streets leading into the stadium area are, are slowly filling up, and, and but they are still moving. No real major problems except for some protesting over on the other side. This caused a little delay, but nothing real major. Bob? Okay, Judd, thank you very much. We'll check back with you a little later. Gail? No doubt baseball fever is in the air. I know a man who caught it a long time ago. That's sports director Dick Crippen. He's at the press box inside Tropicana Field right now. Dick, you have followed this fight to bring baseball to Tampa Bay for years. This must be quite a moment for you. Well, I'll tell you, Gail, I'm standing here thinking about Vince Namoli in a night outside of Phoenix, Arizona, several years back when Major League owners decided to vote down, thumbs down on the Tampa Bay area, moving the San Francisco Giants. An emotional night for Vince Namoli, and at that point, no one would have been able to tell him everything happens for the best. But indeed, as he looks out now on Tropicana Field at his Devil Rays about to take that field, he has to feel everything has indeed happened for the best. Batting practice has already been held. The teams behind me right now, the Detroit Tigers, are out there kind of loosening up. We're getting ready to go. The fans were filing in during batting practice. An exciting time for them. Some autographs were given. The teams, as we told you earlier, actually got out there and greeted the first arrivals. 
So it has been an exciting day so far, but you ain't seen nothing yet. Looking right out behind me, you can see the Tigers are getting ready. Brian Hunter will be the first batter for the Tigers. He gets to make the first strikeout, the first hit, the first single, the first double, or whatever. Home run, maybe? Brian Hunter's got to have some butterflies. He knows what this moment is going to mean. Now, we have to talk a little bit about the guy who's going to be on the mound for the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. That's Wilson Alvarez. He is the starting pitcher today. Is the first time he has had a starting assignment on an opening day. Very special for him. Chris Thomas had an opportunity to sit down with Wilson Alvarez and gather his thoughts about his moment today. Well, thank you, Dick. I'm down here on the field with the starting pitcher for the Devil Rays in their first ever regular season game. Wilson Alvarez. Uh, you pitched in big games, a lot of major league games. How does this one measure today for you in terms of excitement? Well, this this game is going to be. First of all, take me 11 years for this chance. Pitch the opening day and for a new team. You know, it's my. I guess my name is going to be in the books for you know for many many years and. That's it's all about. I mean, this is every pitcher's dream, you know, be it opening day and, you know, be somebody, you know, work so hard, you know, to be somebody, then to have the chance, you know, to be somebody. And hopefully, I don't let these people in Tampa Bay area down. This may not be a pitcher friendly ballpark, you know that. It looks, I mean, you look at the, the line, it looks short, but I still, you know, I have to make good pitches and get people out, you know. That's my job, you know, make good pitches and, I mean. Then the ballpark doesn't matter. Make, good, make pitches. good pitches. Don't matter how big the how small the ballpark is. Your last uh, exhibition game outing was a very good one against the Yankees. You won seven innings. What do you, if you can pitch that way again today, you'll get the job done. You were very pleased with your stuff against the Yankees. Man, I, I wish I do that all the time. I go outside. I mean, go out there and pitch. This I go like 34, 35 times. You know. And for seven, seven innings and give out two runs, I guarantee I will win the Cy Young Award. He's a very proud young man, and he has a right to be that, especially so, because today, Wilson Alvarez's father has come in from Venezuela, and it will be only the second time he has ever seen his son pitch. And thus, it's an extra special moment here on opening day. Back to you, Bob and Gail. All right, Chris, it is a special day for him and all of those players. And here are more details on how this team came together. At the start of spring training, there were 73 players to choose from, but the team had to be whittled down to a mere 25 players by opening day. Well, just this past Friday, manager Larry Wathchild made his decision, and we learned who would ultimately make the ball club. Today, there are 11 pitchers, two catchers, seven infielders, and five outfielders that make up this Tampa Bay Devil Rays team. Now, I'm sure you've heard the old saying, as American as baseball and apple pie. That's right, and there's just something about this game that creates a family atmosphere. For some parents, a day of baseball is the perfect opportunity to have fun with their children. News Channel 8's Mike Walter met a local dad who has waited years for this day, and Mike, I understand he was one of the first in line for season tickets just so he could share this moment tonight with his children. Absolutely, uh, Bob. Mixed in with all this chaos and crowd, you will find a father and a son who are waiting to watch history being made. And you're right, John Mattiato jumped through all the hoops to get season tickets. This has been something he's been waiting for for a long time. <laughs> to a baseball fan, it's the sweetest sound, that crack of the bat. You see, it's not just the sights at the ballpark. The bat, ball, and bogs. It's the sounds that make the game, too. Ice cold Budweiser! And the sounds are crisper, the sights are clearer on that first game, opening day. It's a time for boys, and the boy and all of us, to come together to watch the boys of summer. Everyone remembers their first Major League Baseball game. I'll never forget mine. It was the Dodgers against the Cardinals. I was a kid, and I'll never forget Trevor's first game. But still a team in blue and white. We went out to see the Royals in action. They told me the ball. You see, going out to the ballpark is more than just watching a bunch of guys chasing after this. It's a place where special memories are made. Give me five. Looking forward to this game? 
John Mattiato knows that, and he's hoping to share some special moments with his young son. This boy here is a good ball player, too. And this boy here is a huge fan. Joseph Mattiato already has his Devil Rays jersey and inaugural season baseball cap. Now all he wants is to see that opener. I want to see Wade Boggs play. I, I want to see Fred McGriff. It's the first game ever. Couldn't wait for it. It's going to be exciting. We caught up with a father and son at a recent Grapefruit League game. They're here, but they know this game doesn't count. I think the real excitement is going to be in, you know, Tropicana Field, the first game, the first day. And, you know, that even that ticket is special. You can tell from his voice that's why they call it the American pastime. It's more than just watching the players play. Baseball is a game that still can link one generation to the next. And that's basically what John and Joseph are looking forward to, a, a special memory out of this game, something that they can talk about for years and years to come, and there's no doubt they're going to have that. Let's hope they get a win as well, and I'm seeing that everywhere. We're running into a lot of dads with their kids. First time they've actually brought them out to a ball game. It's going to be a special night for a lot of parents, Bob. Well, it sure is, and I know it's been a special experience for you as well. Thanks, Mike. You bet. Well, there are about 45,000 people enjoying today's game, or they will be with friends and family. And many of them are seeing the baseball-ready Tropicana Field for the very first time. But you're about to experience the stadium in a way that you can't at any other game. Come with us on a behind-the-scenes tour from the locker rooms to the laundry rooms coming up next. Tailgate party on Central Avenue. Banner up Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Did you know pitcher Wilson Alvarez has more than his share of animal attraction? In fact, the lefty from Venezuela once wanted to be a veterinarian. Must be why he has three dogs and two cockatoos in his Sarasota home. 